Hey friends, Zen Cooney here. We're going to use a single Indian club, and I want you to use the lightest one that you have, or even just a, uh, a stick will do. So just some kind of a light stick. Because what we want to do is train the brain today for this movement. I'm going to show you both the salute and the single cross, but using it in a infinity uh, pattern. So, uh, Mark, if you back up just a little bit, So if we look at, first of all, the cross. So the cross is basically this. You can do it high. You can do it in the middle. You can do it low. For today's purpose, we're going to do high. So high to high. Then, we're going to turn back up and around. So that's what it's going to look like. We'll do it in slow motion that way. So. Pick up the speed a little bit. Last one. So then, on the other side, we'll do the salute. So the salute is, this is your basic salute. Here's the high version. Here's the middle. Here's the low. So we're going to go back up through the middle, and then high. So when we add the infinity to it, the only addition is we come up, we get our basic salute. Then we're going to turn, sweep around, and back. Faster. So, Margaret, come in again. If you have a club that has a knuckle, so if we take a look at the nomenclature again just very quickly, we've got the knob or the pommel, we've got the shaft or the haft, call it the handle, of course, 
I call this the knuckle. Now, not all clubs have these, but if you do, this is the knuckle. And then here's the cone, the barrel, and the muzzle, all right? So, when I am doing the movement, let's take a look at, I do a slight hand shift. So, if I'm going to do the, um, uh, the cross, let's say. So, <clears throat> I come up, and I do my cross just as normal. But then, when it sweeps out here, I let this forefinger come out and get on uh, just over the knuckle. Sweep around. Come back up. I'm back to just the shaft. Onto the knuckle. Shaft. Knuckle. All right. Why? If you have the knuckle, it just gives you that extra little bit of grip and control of the club. You can also just slide your finger out a little bit, even if you don't have a knuckle. The knuckle gives you a little hold, and if you're doing a lot of repetitions and your hands should be sweaty, it gives you just a little extra holding spot there. But also, even with a lightweight, it just helps you to guide and keep the club in a good alignment. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if we come up, and we get our basic movement. Now generally people can have this straight alignment where we just got the club straight on out. This is what we would call in a one position. That's fine. Most people can do that. Now, from here though, if you have your hand on the knuckle, it will assist you as you come around and up to keep the club straight up as opposed to letting it droop. Can you see that droop? No droop, please. So keep it up. And the same thing as you go all the way around. I want to keep that club lined up with my arm the whole time. So I'm going to do it wrong one time. So I won't use the knuckle at all. I won't move my fingers. And then I'm going to just move my club. Can you see that? Why would we care about that? Well, there's a few things. One is, for example, if I'm in this position, it's putting an excess stress on what we call the wad of three. It's also putting more stress up into the anterior portion of my shoulder. If I keep everything in a good alignment all the way through, whether I'm on the knuckle or not, it keeps the weight distribution well organized. So I've got this rather than that so that I'm not dragging the club as it comes around, but I'm staying connected all the way down in here to the hara as I do the movement. It would be the same thing if we were doing the salute. So here we are, we come up into the salute position. Boom, I've got my finger around the knuckle. But even without my finger around the knuckle, I can still keep it in alignment. It's just that when it is around the knuckle, it makes it even easier. So, I'm going to just take another few repetitions to show you both of the movements in a little faster speed. Margie, you can go ahead and move back out. So we'll start once again with the cross. I'll do the other arm. Carried away. Okay, then if we go the salute.
go. Pommel or knob, shaft, handle, or the haft, knuckle, cone, barrel, muzzle. Right? Okay. Here is your basic grip. Here's where you're holding on to the knob. If you didn't have that, you could still just run your forefinger, still curved, around to give you a little bit more control of your club. You don't have to do that. It's just that the more you use your digital dexterity in moving your clubs through your hands, rather than keeping them in a monkey uh, uh, grip, the better results you'll get. Plus, it's more stimulating neurologically if you want that brain to feel capital.